Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, it was a very hectic 24 hours for the Australian dollar. The reason behind that is the challenge to the upside sharply reversed in front of the downtrend and also the 60-day moving average, which now is seen around 71.6080. Now, from the rejection, the market has posted a bearish outside range day and now gives further threat to the downside. With the MACD and also the RSI married up to a negative sentiment, like we could see a break of 70 cents and look down towards the region of 69 figure 45 as we get closer to the RBA rate decision on Tuesday. It is viewed by many economists and myself that the RBA may cut rates from 0.25 down to 0.10 and therefore could see a little bit further downside coverage. And that is that uh, taking out the 70 cent level and looking towards that, as I mentioned, 69 figure 45. The euro took out the level of 117.60.70 area and went closer to that target of 116.70. Still holding that's the US dollar, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies. And with the euro weighted at 57.6, is that uh, we are likely to see the challenge of 116 because the euro, US dollar rallied to nearly 1% overnight, nearly captured the level of 94, as it now sits around 93.75, as of I speak. Therefore, we could see the bearishness. Now, it is viewed that most of them, some of the market uh, traders and investors rushed to safe haven assets, and that being the US dollar, as the COVID inc uh, numbers increase in Europe and also in the US. And also the uncertainty of what the US election is going to unfold to. In fact, so will Trump take on the next four years as president or will Joe Biden take his place? So that also falls on the 3rd of November. Nevertheless, still called in 116.70 and reassess from there as we could be looking lower towards 116 in the figure. Dolly Yen, I believe there has quite possibly reached its target. One thing I've noticed is that from the two low points here on the candles of the uh, dollar yen and also the two rising points from the RSI, three day look back, is showing bullish divergence. Therefore, we could see a further increase to the upside. Still continue if you are a bear that um, in case we do get a, uh, an impulse to the upside, keeping your stop losses and take profits according to your risk management, just in case we get the sharp reversal. Nevertheless, I'm not overly confident. The fact is that we will see this move, just the divergence is just on its own because the ADX is still trending and the MACD is still negative. So we have to see who battle it out and wins. But normally divergence is a good leading indicator. So therefore, let's see how it plays into tonight. The price actions broke the... Uh, short-term trend for the pound but saw a little follow-through and at the moment it's sitting around this 130 handle still keeping an eye on the technicals not quite broken down but nevertheless the break of this trend wasn't fully fulfilled so we could see a little bit more whipsaw price action will make it a little bit difficult as the volatility could increase as the uncertainty too many things that is the sh shutdown of the covid in the uk and along with the fact is the Brexit talks are still a little bit unclear. Nevertheless, the bears may still be able to capture that move to back to at 128.70 and reassess. Further weakness is expected for sterling yen as it breaks the level of 135, that is 60, 70 area. And from that, again, like the pound, didn't see any follow through, but the technicals are negative and the ADX is trending and therefore does give further indication that we could see a move down to 134. And Rhea says, because beneath there is 131.80. As I viewed that gold would break down, and it did quite aggressively overnight. And as you can see, rejecting this region around 1,915, it's now looking closer towards 1,850 after taking out the support level at 1,883 and posted a low of 75 today. 
Therefore, we could see the risk towards this level and reassess around 1850. And wrapping up with oil, well, that also plummeted 5% overnight and getting closer towards that 3640 target. I do believe the market may find a bit of support there due to the fact that uh, Hurricane Zeta is actually shutting down some of the oil supply. Let's see if there is a reversal back towards that 38 to $39 level towards that top side. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, look out for the Intraday Report. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.